Hi, I'm Gordon Wade at Wade Research. I have a client who has just ordered a 12 inch mirror from me. We're going to make this one on a borosilicate substrate. It's 12 inch F4.9 mirror. And I uh, just ordered the blank to be fabricated at Newport Glass in California. And we've just received it. So uh, I wanted to get it out of the box today and start measuring it to see what the uh, uh, pre-generation numbers are and see what we're going to have to do to this mirror to get her going. Ah, beautiful. So this is what it comes looking like from the glass fab. It's been pre-generated, 12 inch diameter. It's supposed to be. We'll measure that next. Uh, 35 millimeters on the edge and the top surface should be generated to an F4.9 1500 millimeter curve and the back was Blanchard ground flat. So this is how we get a blank and uh, the first step after getting it out of the box is to take it down into the lab and I'll uh, more accurately measure the diameter and measure this curve. So we'll show you next how we do that. And I want to check the diameter. Uh, I just use a cork backed a uh, steel ruler to do this. Lay it on there gently. Uh, never measure from the end. I always start on a, a marker there. So I've got it set up in the 1 inch marker here. 13 inch there. 13 minus 1 is 12 inches. And uh, we're talking exactly on the number. This is just exactly 12 inches. So perfect in every way. The next step in checking out this 12 inch mirror is to measure the edge thickness. So to do that, I just uh, prop it up a little bit on a couple of hockey pucks. Give me a little working room there. And I just use a normal dial caliper. Put it on the edge here and take a look and see what we get. And it's measuring about uh, 1.425 inches. 1.425 inches. Now that meets spec here. Uh, the client specified that the end thickness, the edge thickness in the end, has to be between 1.339 and 1.417. So we're at 1.425, that's only eight hundredths of an inch too thick, and we'll definitely lose that during the process of grinding the mirror out. So uh, thickness looks really good on this one, so uh, on to check the curvature that's been generated. Well, the next step in checking out this mirror blank is to look at the curve generation job. Now this curve was generated at uh, the glass fab where we purchased the blank from and uh, it had a very specific target of 3,000 millimeters for the radius. This is a replacement mirror in an existing telescope and that telescope had a focal length of 1,500 millimeters so we want to hit that as exactly as possible so if the focal length is 1,500 the radius has to be twice that 3,000 millimeters. To measure this I have a spherometer. This is a digital computer controlled spherometer, a Strasbaugh a uh, fairly old model. They don't even make these uh, computer controlled models anymore. Uh, but I love it because it gives me a really, really accurate measurement. The probe we have here, uh, this has a five in what's called a five inch ring. And uh, the ring is basically based on three feet. These are ceramic balls, uh, precisely engineered and uh, put in this uh, test plate. And in the center is a movable uh, probe. And these three balls uh, determine the diameter of this, and this one happens to be five inches. I have them all different sizes. Now here's a, a little tiny head, with, which is a lot smaller, and then I have very large ones too, up to a 16 inch diameter. But this is a five inch. I set the computer up to read five inches on the spherometer. And then uh, over here I have a machinist surface plate. This is a granite surface plate, and the surface of this has been very accurate, accurately ground flat and it's a one ten thousandth of an inch surface plate. So it's very, very flat, very, very accurate uh, and hugely heavy. <laughs> but this provides a reference surface. So when I put the spherometer on the surface, I hit the zero button and that zeroes it and, and defines a plane uh, for those three, three feet. Then I can take the probe off and put it on the optic that we want to test. And now it measures the radius of the optic and you can see it measures 3,086 millimeters, 3,086.24. Now this is very, very accurate 
Uh, the target again was 3,000. This is only 86 millimeters too long. And uh, for a curved generation job, that's, that's a direct hit. That's as good as you would ever hope to have. So this is a very, very good curve that's been generated on this. You can see the swirl marks on it from the uh, milling machine that was used to generate it, but you can't feel them. And uh, basically what that means is I'll be able to start my processing on this with 25 micron uh, microgrit aluminum oxide abrasive. And that really shortens up the time period that it'll take to do this mirror. So the spherometer says that the curve is really good. We're right on the 3,000 millimeter number, which gives us that 1,500 millimeter focal length. So basically, uh, everything checks out perfectly on this mirror blank, and we're ready to make a grinding tool, a ceramic grinding tool, and uh, start with the 25 micron on this particular mirror.